Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome to another video. So I asked you guys what video you would like to see me do and the majority of you said to do a book tag, which is fair enough because I actually haven't done one of those in a while. So I, 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 it's long overdue, put it that way. So I've been looking around what tags to do and I found one that is called the Rapid Fire Book Tag. I actually saw this on Becca Awesome Book Nuts channel, but the original creator is called Girl Reading, so I will link her video in the description box below so you can check her channel out and subscribe to her if you do so. But this tag is pretty simple and easy going, which is why I chose this as well. And it just consists of loads of questions, one or the other, Simple, straightforward, let's go. So the first question is ebook or physical book? For me, this one is quite difficult because I like both ebooks and physical books. The benefits of ebooks is that you can travel with them, you can take them on your Kindle, you can have so many on your Kindle as well, and they are in your hand. Whereas with books, obviously, they take up space and everything, and ebooks come in handy also if you don't want to take like your sentimental or favourite books out of the house in case you ruin them at work, they get squashed in your bag, the pages get folded, which I tend to find what happens with me. So that's when I tend to take my Kindle outside the house and I just read my physical books inside the house, unless they're library books or they're not as special to me. But I do like the physical book, I like the feel of it in my hand, I like to open it, I like the smell of it. So I probably would lean more towards the physical book. Kindle books I also like to read at night time as well because my hands tend to get really really tired at night for some reason my hands just get sleepy. Next question is paperback or hardback? For me it's going to be hardback books. I just I just love hardback books. I just think they look nicer, they feel nicer. Uh, I just I just like them more. Next question is online or in-store book shopping? Now online they tend to be more cheaper whereas in store they are like the full retail price however sometimes in store they do do deals like Waterstones do the buy one get one half price deal on some of their new books that are in but I do tend to shop on Amazon as well and I am well I do have Amazon Prime so I can get the next day shipping or you know if it comes to the book depository and I don't mind waiting for the book then you know that comes within a week um, but I do tend to get my pre-orders from the book depository and they normally arrive on the day so it's pretty good they come with Royal Mail who deliver in the morning so that's great whereas Amazon tend to deliver with Amazon logistics lately and they tend to deliver about nearly six o'clock in the evening so it just all depends really how I feel if I'm feeling naughty I will probably buy in store just so I can sneak the books in the house without my nan knowing. She doesn't watch my videos so it's fine, she doesn't know about it, but now you guys kind of do so that's awkward. Next question is trilogies or series. For this, I, you know, I, I don't really lean towards either trilogies. If they end it well in a trilogy then that's fine. Series, as long as it's not too long I suppose, because it can get really long winded, really outstretched. Maybe when there's like five or six books, that tends to be like when it's okay. Obviously Harry Potter, there was like seven books and that was fine. So it, it honestly depends on how the author executes it. Next question is heroes or villains. I always have a soft spot for villains. I find, I don't know what it is, like the bad guys, I just like. Voldemort, he's just, he's my bae. You know, I just, I don't know. I just, I just like the villains a lot more. They tend to be more exciting as well. Maybe I'm just a really secret evil villain myself. Next question is a book that you want everybody to read. So I am going to recommend Unremembered by Jessica Brody. It is a trilogy and it was one of the first books that I read when I started booktube. I really really enjoyed it. It's about a girl. She wakes up one day and she has no memories of herself or anything whatsoever. So straight away you're just like what is going on? She finds this boy and apparently they loved each other or something so she's just discovering her memories and more about herself and you're discovering it along with her and you're finding more and more stuff out and it's just it's just so exciting. Next question is to recommend an underrated book. So the book that I think is underrated that I'm going to recommend is The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmasky. Now this is a new adult novel but my god it's so good and I haven't heard anybody talk about it in a really really long time really really long time and I feel like I was one of the only people that did talk about it sorry about that I just came back from a real big coughing fit 
all of a sudden my lungs have just dried up. Next question is the last book that you finished. So it was a manga for me and it's volume number two of Madoka Magica. Next question is the last book that I bought. So that would be Wizard's First Rule by Terry Goodkind. This is a adult fantasy novel and it is the first in a very very long series. It is huge, it is massive but one of my friends recommended this for me to read and I recommended them throw in a glass so we kind of did a little, a little recommendation swap if you'd like to call it that. So I'm gonna have to read this at some point because they are reading the throw in a glass series. Next question is the weirdest thing that you've used as a bookmark and I honestly can't think of anything apart from like a receipt because I've always used bookmarks. I've just, I've been that good. I've honestly been that good. Maybe actually I have used another book as a bookmark as well. Just sort of by opening the book, I've put a book inside the book and <laughs> used that as a bookmark. Next question is used books, yes or no? Yes, definitely. I, I love getting used books. I go in charity shops all the time. Don't like to spend a lot on a used book though. It's just got to be like £3 or less. Top three favourite genres. So for me, I do like dystopian genre. Contemporary romance, paranormal. Borrow or buy, definitely buy. I don't lend my books out and I don't really borrow books from anybody either. Characters or plots, this one is hard because sometimes the plot has got to be really, really good. But I love really awesome characters, especially when the main character is f***ing awesome. Long or short books, not too short, not too long. I tend to like them being like about four, 450 pages, around about that, so longer than a short book, put it that way. Long or short chapters, I love short chapters, so it's definitely got to be short chapters. Name the first three books that you can think about. Throw in a Glass, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and <clears throat> Twilight. Books that made you laugh or cry. Made me cry, definitely The Fault in Our Stars. Edge of Never kind of made me cry too. Pretty sure a book called Impossible by Kamal Kant made me cry as well. Books that make me laugh, any of Holly Smell's books, the Geek Girl books, they are so hilarious. They're just they're just so funny. I love them to bits. Like they are they're so good. Also the Princess Diaries books by Meg Cabot, they make me laugh as well. Mia Th Mia Thermopolis. They're so hard to say. She's so funny. She's such a funny character. She's great. She's honestly great. Our worlds or fictional worlds? Definitely fictional worlds. Who would want to live in this world, right? Audiobooks, yes or no? I like audiobooks, they are great, but I tend to like reading books myself, so it honestly depends. I like to listen to audiobooks in my car, sometimes I like to listen to them at night. Not a massive fan of them, but I don't mind them. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes, I kind of do, but then I don't. I, I tend to go more on a synopsis, but if I'm drawn to the book by the cover, I tend to purchase it more. Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? For this one, probably book to movie. I tend to sometimes like the movies that are to the books or if there's a movie coming out to the book, it makes me want to read the book. But whereas TV shows, they tend to change them a lot more. I find like the 100 so different to the book. Next question, is a movie or a TV show that you prefer to the book? Probably the 100 actually, I, I do prefer the TV show of the 100 to the books. They're so good. If you haven't watched the TV show, guys, you need to. And last question is series or standalones? This one is hard too, because I do like series. Then I do like standalones. It's kind of hard. I guess I'm probably gonna lean more towards series because I like to see the plot develop more, the characters develop more, what's gonna happen next, there's a cliffhanger, sometimes the standalones end on something and you're like, really? You're gonna really do that to me? But whereas, you know, series, when they do that, at least you know that there's gonna be a next book and you're like, you know what, my answer's better be answered in that next book. So that's it guys for this video, I hope you've enjoyed this tag, let me know your answers to these questions down in the comments below, let me know what you thought about my answers, let's start a conversation about it, but Hope you've enjoyed this tag. If there's any other tags that you would like to see me do, to see me answer, then please do let me know down in the comments below. I want to just do any video requests that you throw at me. I'm off for the next two weeks, so just throw any video requests at me 
they possibly can. But I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!